Hello and welcome back to Jap Tuning. My name is Stefan and this is the uh, project car, the FK8 Civic Type R that we have been working on. And um, today we will continue with uh, some nice upgrades. So what we will do today is that we will install these very nice parts that I have in front of me. Now what I have here is a downpipe from PRL, including the catalytic converter. We have this uh, front pipe, also from PRL. I have this uh, turbo blanket, it's a heating shield from PTP turbos. And uh, with the downpipe, you'll get this uh, O2 extender. And that's to, uh, to get the O2 sensor to a further up position so that the cabling will be uh, enough to connect your O2 sensor. But um, we, will, we will not use this one. Um, we have uh, read about some guys installing it and uh, that the ECU is shooting some uh, fault codes. So instead we will just use an uh, extension cable so that uh, we will install the O2 sensor uh, in the standard original positions. And with an uh, extension cable, the, uh, the, co the connector from the uh, car's ECU loom We'll just uh, uh, all try it up to that one. What we see here are some black pipes. Now from PRL, they're not black uh, when you get them. What we have done here in Sweden is to get these parts ceramic coated. Now there is uh, a couple of reasons for doing that. Now, the first reason would be to uh, actually keep the heat inside to not get the heat to um, uh, to radiate so much out from uh, the pipes and to get a cooler engine bay. And the second reason is that here in Sweden, if you're using the car all year round, uh, now in the winter time we do get some snow and uh, uh, we have a lot of salt on the roads. Now the salt will of course uh, uh, make these pipes uh, uh, to corrode, they will get uh, corrosion on them, so uh, the coating here will of course uh, protect them from that. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and uh, show you how to install these parts. So to gain access to change the downpipe and the front pipe, um, we need to remove some of these parts here. Um, this one just sits with some clips that we have already prepared and removed. And then you will simply just lift this part off. The next thing that we need to remove is the, uh, this very nice PRL intake hose. We have already undone this little uh, pipe here for the coolant. And we need to remove this pipe here. Now this pipe is uh, wrapped in a DEI um, heat shielding reflecting tape. That's something that the owner has done uh, previously. And that's of course uh, because the, the intake air goes this way. The turbo sits right here. Now the turbo generates a lot of heat. So this is a good cheap upgrade to do. We will remove this. We will then remove the heat shield from, uh, that sits on the turbo and the O2 sensor and uh, then we can gain access to remove the downpipe.
Okay, so now it's time to change the uh, actual downpipe here. Um, we have uh, loosened the heat shield and the O2 sensor is gone. The problem here is that the exhaust housing is, uh, of course, getting is extremely warm and cold and warm and cold every time you use your car. So it could be problems to loosen the four bolts uh, between the turbo and the downpipe. Uh, we have uh, sprayed on some WD-40 and uh, then you have to be careful. It's a 14 millimeter socket. Uh, use one with uh, uh, six edges, so not the 12 edge uh, one. And um, for the lower left one, I actually used a, uh, a pneumatic uh, gun. To, uh, to loosen just a little bit on that one and then be very careful because it's when, uh, when, it, when it gets warm the heat uh, that can be uh, caused between the thread and the bolt when that heat ra raises um, you could have problems uh, that causes that the bolt actually uh, um, snaps off and you don't, you don't want to do that so be careful and uh, now we're loosen uh, loosen up the bolts here, and then we will uh, take off the uh, downpipe from the car. So here is the new PRL downpipe. Here is the stock one. Uh, the main difference is not only the weight, but only, of course, uh, also the flow. Um, this is where the turbo. Um, this is what attaches to the turbo. Now you, you can't really see a huge difference right here, but in the other end where the front pipe connects, you have this difference. That's a total of 20 millimeters, uh, which is quite a lot. Uh, if you calculate flow, uh, now the difference will be quite a lot. So. Um, the nice thing about this is, um, especially turbocharged cars, will uh, react very positive on more flow. When you when you have a turbocharged engine, uh, there is a lot of uh, back pressure that will build up uh, in the exhaust. So with a larger exhaust, like this one is, you will uh, automatically increase your flow and reduce your back pressure, which will, uh, uh, of course, gain more power. So I think this is a very, very good upgrade. Um, I do believe that this unit will uh, create less heat as well. The customer of this car, he is using it for, uh, for track days, and um, uh, we have seen a lot of problems with uh, heat. So I think this is very good for, uh, for getting uh, rid of some of the heat and uh, as a bonus of course you will get uh, a better response and more power. So here is the uh, uh, PRL front pipe that I will now uh, assembly on the car and uh, we have uh, changed the down pipe to the PRL one and now it's time for the front pipe to go up and as I mentioned before um, this uh, front pipe is a lot larger than the uh, OEM unit which um, is very good for uh, hot exhausts since uh, 
warm gas or hot gas takes a larger place than cold gas, we will, uh, uh, with this front pipe, increase the flow, which will lead to uh, lower back pressure and more power. As you can see, the PRL downpipe is now installed and the PTP turbo uh, heating blanket on the turbo, which is here. Um, one of the uh, issues about the, this configuration is that uh, the engine uh, sucks in the air from here via this pipe into the turbo. Now, the actual turbo, the exhaust housing is here. So there's a lot of heat from the turbo um, that is developing out here in the engine bay and getting sucked up, of course, of the intake pipe. Now that is why we have wrapped this one in the DHI um, reflectable heating tape. And uh, as I mentioned before, uh, we have uh, coated the downpipe as well and now the heating blanket on the turbo will also do its job. So today we just uh, finished the uh, installation of the PRL downpipe and front pipe and the heat shield uh, from uh, PTP turbos. Um, the installation went uh, quite uh, well, I would say, um, fairly easy, you know, some ordinary small issues like always, but uh, not much. Uh, there's a, a few small things to think about. Um, when you loosen the uh, downpipe from the turbo, be careful. Um, when you install the front pipe, it is very good to have four hands. So uh, a friend of yours can uh, push away the heating shield, makes it much easier. Um, our expectations from this is um, lower temperatures in the engine bay, um, uh, less back pressure in the exhaust and uh, more power. Also, I think that the, uh, the sound, the exhaust sound will change a little bit because now we have a, uh, another catalytic converter which is uh, better flowing and we have larger pipes on the front pipe. So that will of course uh, increase the, uh, uh, the sound a little bit. And that's uh, all about uh, this for today. Please subscribe to our uh, YouTube uh, channel uh, for more videos. Have a good day.